Hello future homeowners and welcome back to our home buying series. We've finally arrived at step nine, closing day and recording. This is when you get the keys, so let's dive in. Closing day is when you're gonna sign all the necessary paperwork to complete the purchase of your new home. Be prepared to spend a couple hours at the title company or if it's a mobile um, title company, they'll come to you at your home. Um, sometimes this is in an escrow's agent office. It depends on which state you're in for your requirements. Here are some tips to ensure a smooth closing. You're going to bring proper identification. Government issued ID is required for closing. Review your documents in advance if possible. Request the closing documents beforehand and review them with your agent or um, if you have a real estate attorney. Double check the numbers. Ensure the loan terms, interest rate, and fees match your closing disclosure you received earlier from your lender. Bring certified funds. Be prepared to pay your down payment and closing costs with a cashier's check or wire transfer, and this is what I recommend. If you're wire transferring, this may be done in advance to closing day or signing documents as well. So check with your title company and lender. Once all the documents are signed, your deed will be recorded with the local government, officially making you a homeowner. You cannot move in until the deed has been recorded. So there are time requirements to signing these documents in order to get your keys that same day. I would recommend scheduling a move-in day on a different date than your closing day and signing. But you know what? Congratulations. You've made it through all nine steps. We hope our home buying series has been helpful on your journey to home ownership. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with fellow home buyers. You can reach out to me today to get started. Enjoy your home.